3,990 days ago, my mother became one of the three million single parents in the UK. To you, this may just sound like a statistic, but for me, this is my reality. I was four when this happened, and 10 years later, I am now 14. Throughout the 10 years, my mom provided me with food, clothes, and a roof over my head. She also showered me with love, care, and kindness that nourished me better than any meal possibly could. The only thing I didn't have at home was a father. I often wondered why my relationship with my father didn't mirror the endearing ones that I saw in movies. However, I never resented my mother for this because I began to understand her. I began to understand that she acted as both parents. I began to understand the weight that it put on her too. If I was to ask any of you in the room right now if you understood your parents, you would tell me yes with no hesitation. But do you really understand them? The complexity of parenting is immeasurable. It is especially difficult for single mothers with a lack of support, yet simultaneously having an expectation from society to handle it perfectly with no faults. Moreover, a myriad of misconceptions about single mothers have been forged over time. Lazy, undesirable, unstable. A guest on Good Morning Britain, who is a single mother herself, claimed that they were selfish for making the decision to deprive a child from the outset of a father. I beg to differ. I believe without a shadow of doubt that single mothers are some of the most selfless people that deserve the utmost respect. Research has shown that the average mom spends 98 hours a week on parenting duties. When we take this away from the 168 hours in a week, it leaves 70 to be divided between sleep, going to work, and the plethora of responsibilities that they must carry out. Why do we undermine the effort and time that they devote to keeping themselves and their children afloat. Some are under the impression that children suffer severe consequences as a result of growing up with one parent. However, there are also situations where relationships can be detrimental to children and others within the family. They can be exposed to abuse or an unsafe environment. So instead of shaming women under the false perception that they cannot keep a man, please recognize that they are making the best decision available to them. A family without two parents does not equal a family without love. Love cannot be measured by the number of parents present. I am proud to be the daughter of a single mother. We owe it to our remarkable single parents for showing us unconditional love and unwavering devotion. I'm asking you today to please show them the respect that they deserve.